This is your hand. This is your hand on a mouse. Ah! Any questions? I've been using a drawing tablet for everything. Editing, motion graphics, visual effects, including surfing the web and paying my bills online. And in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should also use a drawing tablet, especially if you're into editing, motion graphics, and visual effects. We're only going to cover the Wacom line of tablets. And you might ask, KCM, I've heard of other brands. Why are you gonna cover the other brands? <gasps> Let me share with you a tip I got from my mother-in-law, and that is you get what you pay for. And from my personal experience, Wacom's the best when it comes to drawing tablets. Yeah. And I'm not saying this because they sent me a new Intuos Pro tablet. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. I've been using their tablets for 20 years, since 2001, when I bought my very first Intuos Pro tablet. I used it every single day for 15 years, sold it on eBay, made some money, and used that money to help buy the latest model. They're well built and they're very reliable. Of course, if you're working in Adobe Premiere 2021, it crashes, you lose all of your work, and in a bit of rage, you chuck it or you crush it. Well, that's another story. Wacom has different tablets according to your budget. If you're interested, check out the links in the description below. Health is well. And when you're using a mouse for editing, motion graphics, and visual effects, let's face it, amigos, it's going to put a lot of tension and strain on the joints and ligaments of the wrist, your forearm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder. However, when you're using a pen, it's in a neutral position and will exert a lot less pressure. Check out this diagram. And notice how the bones in your forearm, the radius and the ulna crosses over when you're using a mouse. I don't know about you amigos, but I definitely don't want the bones in my forearms to be crossed for an extended period of time. And when I was 22 years old, I was trying to get into this career of editing and motion graphics, and I was already developing pain in my wrist. My fingers hurt. That's when I decided to switch over to using a pen and a tablet. The pain subsided and eventually went away for good. Hallelujah! I drew the duck blue because I've never seen a blue duck. If you want to draw a blue duck on a Wacom tablet, now you can do it, but with your fingers instead of the pen. That's fantastic! The new drawing tablets have this awesome feature called touch mode, which allows you to use your fingers to perform any of the tasks that you can do with the pen. And I know a lot of us are used to using our smartphones to navigate and perform tasks, so it might be an easier fit or transition for some of you. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. If you haven't seen Goldfinger, you're missing out on perhaps one of the best Bond film of all time. And if you wanna check out how 007 escapes from being cut up by a laser, you definitely have to see that movie. And speaking of laser, when it comes to graphics, motion graphics, visual effects, you need to be attentive to detail and accurate. For example, when you're masking something out, it has to be very accurate. And when you're using a drawing tablet and a pen, it allows you to be that accurate. And not only that, but also to execute very efficiently. I love shortcuts especially when I'm driving in LA traffic because it drives me crazy. And the same thing when I'm editing in Premiere or working in After Effects. Yes, it drives me crazy when it crashes, especially the latest updates. But more importantly is using the shortcuts because it saves me so much time. And the Wacom drawing tablets have buttons that you can assign shortcuts to. For example, the Intuos Pro model, which is the one that I have, has eight buttons. I can assign eight different shortcuts to each of those buttons. But here's the beauty. Each app can have its own set of shortcuts. Premiere can have its own set, Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, and it gets even better. They have this feature, the radio menu, which is on-screen shortcuts. With the touch of a button, you can activate it, and this radio menu has different shortcuts that you can just boom, click on. And this is a way that I set up my shortcuts for Adobe Premiere. These top four buttons, I'm assigning it to my video tracks, V1, V2, V3, V4, 
and the ones below are my audio tracks, A1, 2, 3, and 4. So with a touch of any of these buttons, I can toggle, activate any video or audio track. If you've seen my video on how I built my new PC, check out the link in the description. You'll know that cable management is not my area of expertise. If you're like me, there's cables going everywhere. But the Wacom line of tablets have this feature, which allows you to connect to your computer via Bluetooth, which is awesome because now you can declutter instantly. Thank you amigos for watching this video. Using a drawing tablet has been a game changer in my career and hopefully you'll also consider it to be a part of your toolkit. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count.